Okay, ready, go. Okay, ready, go. Currently, what's happening is um, you're putting a lot of effort up here. So during the backswing, you don't let the club go enough and you are stopping it by keeping this arm really straight and then stop it here. You're putting a lot of effort here. Yeah. And then let it go and then okay. here just uh, you know, go easy. But from here, you have to swing it through. So you go here and then just to try to put a lot of effort here. Do, do, do not do that. Don't do that. Do that. Yeah. Okay. So go up here and then you have to swing through. So image the whole thing. From the top of action to all the way to uh, the finish here. This is big motion. And you will accelerate up to this point and then decelerate. But this whole motion swing through instead of just to try to put a lot of effort here. Uh, we can work on it. So what happens is uh, toward the end of the swing, so here, the left arm is really mm -hmm. straight mm -hmm. and that the club goes only about this much. Mm -hmm. From here, not this one, you're putting a lot of effort here. And then, so the follow through motion is not big enough. What happens is, uh, <coughs> let it go and then you're up about this, uh, <laughs> okay. moving with it instead of uh, swinging through. When you let the arms go this way, your body will actually move this way slightly. But you throw the club and arm and then your body is okay. <laughs> dragged by the, the arm and club. So. So I need to throw my arms. So let's, uh, let's uh, I will, uh, I will uh, let you know what to do. So this is the down the line view here. So on the way up, it's, go, it's going flat, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then it's coming down quite uh, steep here. Even if uh, your, your hands move still the same way, still you can have the club going more upright. If, if your wrist goes like this, then the club head drops quite a bit. When I roll the wrist, you mean? Yes, roll yes, 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 yes. Okay. So, um, See, yeah. this part, you're going yes. more like this. So more, mm. more like this. Just to keep going this way. Ah. Oh. Then it will just go here. Okay. And then when if you come mm -hmm. back here, mm -hmm. then the backswing pad and the downswing pad will be quite similar. Okay. But that is definitely not a feel that I've had. Mm. Okay. In your case. So it's more so like this. Mm. But uh, currently what you're doing is, as you go back, mm -hmm. you're flipping it like this. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Right? Yeah. Going this I way. Feel that. And then finally you go up here and then coming down more upright path here. Yeah? Okay. Instead, just to let it go and then try to, in this case, have the feel of uh, reaching as far as possible using the clip head. So, so reaching so, that way? Yeah. Let the clip head go more away from your body here. Oh and then come to this position. Okay, so the club head more away from my body. Yeah, so instead of uh, dropping this way, let it go more out. Okay. Still, still you tend to uh, drop still it a little bit. In? Mm, that's better, yeah, that's better. So it may not be your hand motion. Your hand motion is uh, reasonably okay, mm -hmm. but for some reason you're, you're going up like this. Uh, yeah, I'm rolling up. And arm. then here coming down this way, right? Mm. Yes. So image this. Yeah. Because what matters is the color motion. Yep. So uh, when you, we use uh, stage three, 
then go from mm-hmm. here, and then mm-hmm. using the momentum, it will go here. Got because it. it's moving faster, so automatically it goes this way. Uh-huh. But when you start from here... Then I do that. Yeah, you tend to flip. Totally. So let it go, and then reach out more with the curve head, okay. and then bring it here. Okay, so if I go... I'm looking at this line here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, have the image of... Uh, Keeping it uh, moving along the swing plane. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, so that now stage three motion and the uh, regular swing motion, they are quite similar now. Right. Yeah. And then I need to get. Yes. So I want to feel like I'm throwing it out. Mm. So almost uh, you're reaching out uh, as much as possible. Reaching out, right. Yeah. So and it doesn't have to stay connected with me. I just kind of go. Whoop. So no, no need to keep it close to okay. your body. Yeah. And then on the way, so part of the reason why you go with this position is because you want to have this kind of feel here. Mm. But instead, just let it go. Okay. Mm. Yeah, still, your, your elbow is, tends to come in. Okay. This one. Yeah. And go there. It didn't just bring up like this. Just let it go. Back. Instead of okay. <laughs> going okay. to this position. Okay, let me see if I can do that. <laughs> yeah. So that's possible if you just let the clivet go along this path. So instead of forcing it with your, your body. And then at the top, give more motion. Go up to this position here. The, the thing is, as we get old, yeah, I know. you are in the, your 70s, yeah. so um, obviously the strength decreases. Yeah. Then what we have to take adv- advantage uh, is the uh, range of motion. So uh, when I get to the top, I'm going to try to go a little further. Yeah, so let the clever now, because now the clever is moving mm-hmm. this way here. Right. Keep going and then let the clever go a bit more here. This is okay. That's okay. Mm. This is okay. No problem. It'll be interesting to see how I get it back down, but okay. Mm. <laughs> All right. So hang on. Currently, you are rushing into a downswing. Okay. That's, uh, that's causing the, uh, actually, uh, instability there. Right there. Right. Uh, yeah. Give, this, give enough motion here. At the same time, then you will have more time here, right? Okay. I'm going back this way. And then you have to shift the, the yeah. weight to the left side. Yep. And then let it go. On the way down, keep your hands reasonably close to your body. Uh-huh. Then it will just go in there. Hit okay. the ball. So during the back swing, let the clever go away. And then bring it up. Yeah. And then, and then swing. And then. And then try to hold uh, one thing. Try to hold the grip in the middle here. You're holding it too long. Really? It's, it's uh, more difficult to handle this. Okay. So Just because we're practicing or always? No, no, no. From now on. From now on here. Okay. This versus this does not make any uh, big difference in terms of speed. Okay. Okay. So just to hold, to place the hands uh, almost in the middle of the grip here. Okay. Mm-hmm. If it's a sh- shorter, it's easier to handle. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now let's go to a stage three. Stage three. Good trigger. Yeah. Again, uh, with that, keep uh, enough backswing. Okay. More. Now you have the image of the entire downswing. So from the top of back swing mm-hmm. to uh, the finish position, mm-hmm. this is one big motion. Mm-hmm. So try to image the whole motion instead of hitting the ball here. Because the club head is passing through where the ball is, so the impact will happen. But in your image, try to have the entire motion here. So go here, the swing through to this position. Mm. 
but still you have to maintain the gaze on the ball okay, instead of uh, try to enjoy the scenery around. Again. So particularly at the f uh, finish here, you are what you, your gaze is uh, in this direction here. So I'm like that? Mm. And where am I supposed to be? Swing <laughs> in here. So for a while, you maintain the gaze where the ball was, okay? And then you will turn a little bit more. But if uh. <laughs> you're going here, then you will uh, you know, lose the gaze early. Mm hmm that's, that's better. Now, on the way down, try to keep your hands uh, closer to your body more. So we'll try to try to keep the hands a bit closer, and then from the beginning, drop the hands a bit more, mm -hmm. mm. and oh. give a bit more angle here. Okay. From there, again. Now stay straight, using the trigger. And then if you lose the balance at the end of the swing, that means. And then you tend to uh, move your body uh, this way too much. Okay, okay so, so. so go to the back swing top here. Instead of fighting, just uh, let it go a bit more. Okay. Okay, instead of fighting here. Okay. When you fight, then the club goes this way here. Okay. Okay, so right. let it go more. This is okay. And from here, you will shift it slightly, mm -hmm. but then from there, just to try to turn from here. My top, my this part turns. Mm. So, no need to shift it this way more. Okay, all right. So, to again, go to the top, and then get, uh, let, let it go a bit more. more. From here, from here, right. you have a slight, uh, slight recentering here, right? Uh -huh. From there, simply just to turn around and let it go. Okay, let me try that. Mm. So, stays the rain. Okay. Yes, still, still, I think uh, the, the hands are moving away too much. And then again. Oh, I'm here again. Okay. Hmm. The downswing now is a, a lot more active. That's, yeah. that's good. However, still uh, I see a tendency of crossover. Crossover. That means the club head is going this way. At the top, it's going like this. Oh, are you, okay. Mm. So this way. So feel the motion of the club head. Uh, now it's tend to go a bit uh, flatter. Throw the club head more this way. Go, let it go around. So you know, particularly when you use a stage three, don't worry about bringing this up, rather just using this motion, let the club go here. So stage three. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Now. Okay. It's a too slow, make it faster. But uh, this time, the speed is good, but so, so when we start, okay. let it go here, this way, instead of, let it go and then bring it here. So try to bring uh, your hands a bit higher and then drop the club head. I'm left handed, so do you think maybe if I just thought about push, pulling with my back with my mm -hmm. right, like mm -hmm. Actually, left shoulder has to come in, so. Uh. Now, go, go to the top and then stop there. Here, this is the, the field you need to have. 
in which direction the clip is uh, aligned? Along the shoulders or? Going that way, out that way. So in order to, let's say your shoulder is turned at 90 yeah, here, degrees. Yeah. The club needs to be. You have to go more this way here. This way here. Okay, and I got the club going that way? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you are in between the shoulder line and then the target line. But try to uh, keep it more like this. So dropping the clay more this way. So if you keep going, then it will hit your right shoulder, like uh, the rope string, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So have that feel. So stage three. Mm, that's better, that's better. So the, the goal is to keep the clavier closer to the swing plane. Yeah. Okay, so is that, when it's, okay, wait, is that it? There, this is a, yeah. going this way, but try to keep it like this, a, a bit here. Then you'll be able to adjust it. So what happens in your case, the elbow is lifted. And I need the elbow down. Yeah, slightly like this. So instead of paying attention to the elbow motion here, try to pay attention to the club motion. So if you maintain this motion, if you let the club go let the club to this position, then... So am I helping it too much? I'm not, I'm... So in your case, at the end, just ah. try to lift this up slightly. And let the club do it. Yeah. Club, just let the club go here. Okay. If you keep moving, then the club will hit here. Okay. And you can see where the club head is. Let me record this and then show you where your hands are. Okay, ready, go. Uh, but this is actually a lot better. So, so when you said to put, feel it, oh yeah. This is a lot better. Yep. But still you have a tendency of uh, Crossing over a little bit, but uh, just gotta learn to feel the. Yeah, this is the. That's the old way. Yeah, the pre pre swing. Yeah. You see, it just. Oh, yeah, it's uh, way different. Now you're going further down, yep. but uh, it's not going that far. Okay, so, so I need to still. I gotta. I gotta just let this club go. Let the club yeah, go. Feel the feel the clavicle motion. Feel the clavicle motion. motion. And then more than anything, what's happening is, uh, beginning at the beginning. You're going this position here. The clever drops here. And then here, lift this. So instead, let it go. Go here and then make it really simple. So let it go and then. To get the go, mm. to get the go of the club. So if you want to move the club along this line here, yeah. then you have to let the club head go this way here. And then going to this position here. Because I'm trying to make that in line with this. Mm. Right? But, but uh, in your case, what happens is you going and then try to bring it up. So again, try to feel. Uh, uh, let, let's do this. I'll keep it here. So if you touch this, then that means you're going too flat. <laughs> now you. You have this target here, so you have to go above. Again. Oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> I'd have to see now. That's okay now, huh? Hmm. Feel the cold in your hand. And also, also, particularly, relax your wrist so that it can continue the motion instead of uh, forcing it, okay? So your, your wrist is too, too uh, stiff at the top, yeah. Ah, went down. Hmm. If you hit this, this thing, then <laughs> you're going too flat. 
Yeah, again. <laughs> so now try to throw the, the clip head out quickly. I mean that way. Right. Yep. Okay. So if you if you don't want to hit the hit this thing, then yeah, you have to go that way. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's not that difficult. No, I don't it's know. it's just a matter of having a reference. I'm trying to come up with the swing plane trainer. So. Um, That the ring shape one is not it's not that, 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 it's not that it helpful. Work. Yeah. It does not really uh, give you the, the correct online, okay. it does not give you a correct swing plane. So okay. um so not again. It's don't do this. So just go more this way here. Okay, keep the flat. Yeah. So if you use the wrist wrist correctly. Yes, that way. Mm. Yeah, again. Yeah, so that's better. Now, now, let me, let me, here we go. You will use this uh, short uh, orange rib here, swing back and forth. Because this one, the head is heavy, you can really feel the motion. Mm. So swing, bring it back here, swing, and then bring it back. Instead of fighting here, just uh, let the whip go, let the club go all the way here. Mm -hmm. So this will be a bit easier to use than the, the wood. More than anything, you have to feel the motion. Ah. Went low. Uh-huh, that's better. Now, let's, Im let's image this. If you're just uh, going about this much, mm -hmm. and just uh, use the wrist to bring this, mm. then you tend to go low. But how about you go this much? Mm. So your hands are actually going this much. Mm -hmm. Then you can easily let it go this way here. Yeah, so use the trigger motion to adjust the, the backswing plane. Ah, <laughs> this time what happened was uh, you go in and then you're using okay. this motion to <laughs> bring, bring it uh, flat. Mm hmm again. So now imagine this, you have the swing plane here. Your, your goal is, as you swing back and forth, your goal is to move the whip along this plane continuously, okay? And then minimize the motion in this direction. Just try to make it a So that, this part is going here? No, the whole thing here. Mm -hmm. At least from here mm -hmm. to here, mm -hmm. the whole thing is moving on the swing plane here. Okay. Keep moving this way, and then go up, continue this motion. Okay. So first, Swing up from here to here, back and forth, and then bring it up and see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That motion is <laughs> quite uh, natural here. Swing back and forth. Is that okay? Mm. Now, as you do this, try to minimize the bending at the top. That means you have to wait until this is done. Bring it back and then wait until, uh, give more time for the transition. Mm -hmm. So you, one of your issues is uh, you rush down. So by minimizing the bending of the whip, that means you are having more time at the top, right? Again. Yes. So you don't, you don't need to uh, ask me to, uh, you know, know confirm that. that. You can feel it, actually. You, have, you should be able to feel it. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
again. Swing back and forth. Yeah, swing back and forth, left to right. Keep keep swinging back, keep swinging back and forth. Try to maintain the swing plane both ways. Swing, swing. Yeah, use a consistent swing plane. Yeah, weight more at the top so that minimize the bending. Bring the hands a bit higher. And also here at the top have here, let it, let it go. Wait here a bit more, and then start the downswing. If you, as the, the club is still moving this way, and then you start this, you'll have a lot of bending here. Got it. So wait until this is completed, okay. and then start the downswing. You need to have more time. Yes. Yes. So with this, you, you can now really feel this motion here. Yes, I can. At the last uh, minute here, at the end of the back swing, you're adding additional shoulder girdle motion here. Ah. Mm, here, and then let it go. So instead of using the arm here, so giving more shoulder girdle motion. By letting that go further back, this is going back, mm -hmm. right? So keep extra shoulder turn like that. So take enough time up there. So now have a bit more active trigger. Mm -hmm. And uh, instead of firing the whip, let it go all the way. Mm -hmm. Yep. So now you're using sort of a lot better. Okay. Your, your issue was uh, this is straight and then try to quickly come down. Mm -hmm. So remember when you do the rope swing, yeah. you wait until the rope goes around your body, mm -hmm. right? That's coming from extra shoulder turn okay. and then slight arm motion. That will give you uh, the rope going around your body. Yeah. Yes. Now the difference is that you are letting it go. Yep. Because this is heavier, yeah. so it comes down this way, and it's okay because it's heavier. Okay. Now let's use a, a bit longer one and see how it goes. Hold in the middle of the grip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So instead of fighting, let it go. Yes. So now this is a lot heavier than your club, but you are maintaining good balance. That means you are working with it. Yes, because you are not fighting up there. Okay. That's why downswing is almost so, stable. And it's not going in like this? No. Because I'm doing... Hmm. Because now I'm it's it easier to uh, do this because the club, the, the head is heavier. So you can really feel the motion and then you can, you know, let the, let the club go. Yes. And then, now on the way down, so uh, you will let it go all the way up here, right? Mm -hmm. From here, instead of coming this way, just wait here and then come this way. So again, coming back through, uh, along the plane you were moving. So you went up here and come down this way instead of okay. early opening the chest. Okay. So it's really important to have the, the image of the swing plane mm -hmm. and try to move the whip along the swing plane. Again. And drop the, the head of the whip board this way. This 
Ah, what happens is it goes up the here. You're starting from here. Uh, uh, okay, so go here, and from there, throw by turning the. By turning my chest. Hmm. So go up here. So okay. if it went up this way, okay. then try to bring it down this way here. Again, this plane. Oh, I've never done that. Hmm. That's what, the sword what, thing, right? What's, what's happening is it goes up here, uh -huh. and you're coming this way. So if this went up this way, mm -hmm. try to bring this way here, along the shoulder line here. Okay. Let it go. Okay. Mm. So feel the, so have good image of the swing plane coming down. Yes. In. Oh, give more time. Give more time. Again. Yes, that motion is a lot cleaner. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's, it's, and then let it go here. It's, so I'm kind of going like that. Mm -hmm. And keeping it on. So that's when you tell me to visualize the plane. Yes. So when, you, when we swing back and forth, then both times uh, we're basically moving the whip along the swing plane. So, okay, so we're, we're, we're dealing with just one plane. Okay. So keep moving along that plane. Yes. So hold it a bit shorter. Hold it a bit shorter. Yep. That will be easier. Yes. Mm -hmm. That motion is a lot cleaner. That motion is a lot cleaner. Mm -hmm. Is that when you used to tell people to feel like you have a, a sword coming out or something? Yeah, what that means is that instead of letting you go out here, mm -hmm. Just to pull it down along the shaft. Yes. So um, just help me when I get to the top here. Mm. My feel is on the plane. Yeah. So, on the plane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now your finished position is a lot uh, stable. This is heavier than your club. But your finish position is stable. Yes. One, because you are waiting now, yes. having more time up there. And on the way down, the plane is also better. So that's why you don't need any additional motion. Yes. That, yeah, that plane is really good now. Mm-hmm. Okay, ready, go. Look at this. The swing plane is a lot cleaner now. I'm not stuck. <laughs> you see? I like Just it. Just flowing. I like it. Part of this is the, the orange whip. Mm -hmm. that this will give you a better feel of uh, the motion well, of the... Well, up here it will, for mm. sure. And then by waiting enough at the top, you're minimizing the bending. Mm -hmm. If you fight it, then you have a lot of bending here. Mm -hmm. Because the head is still going that way, and then you're trying to pull it down. And I need to let the head go yeah. and yeah. regroup, kind of. Yeah. And then... Stay on the plane. Yeah, so when you let it go enough, then uh, the bending will be minimized, right? So when I get to the top, Dr. Kwan, I'm getting here. Hmm. And, oh, wait, let's do it right. It's Just wait, wait there, and then your and body is now with this. Yes, coming down. Yes. And, that, and I've never done that. <laughs> so uh, now you, you, cut, you cut down uh, this motion quite a bit. So it's mainly along the swing plane. 
Again, stage three. Yes. And then now have a better gaze control. Here's an imaginary ball here. And then you have to keep the gaze well. Again. Yes. Yeah, that uh, 